Today I'm so excited because I will share with you my favorite head covering styles as a Jewish Orthodox woman, as well as my five best hair covering tips to make head covering easy for long, short, or thin hair and to stop any headscarf from slipping off. I will also show you how I tie my headscarves, how I embellish them, and what headscarves I wear on weekdays, on Shabbat, and on certain holidays. And if you're new here, hi, my name is Sarah Malka, and on my channel, I share all facets of my Orthodox Sephardic Jewish life as a full-time working mom with small kiddos. So don't forget to leave a big thumbs up to the video and subscribe to our channel. Let me put on a pretty tickle and let's jump into it. Because I use scarves almost exclusively to cover my hair, I have amassed quite a collection over the years, thank God. I store them in these Walmart bins by color. Before I had these armoires from Ikea, I used to store all these bins under my bed. Before I show you my favorite head coverings, I will show you my five essential tools or tips that makes my headscarf hold all day and makes it so regal. The first tip is to use a hair grip at all time. And if you would ask me what is the most critical tool I use to have a successful hair covering journey, I would answer that this seemingly unimportant tool makes everything possible. It is a special velvet headband with a velcro so it can be adjusted to the right size. And if you want to try one, because I really do not want for you to lose your money buying the wrong hair grip, I will leave my favorite one I have been using for more than a decade in the description box below. As a married Orthodox Jewish woman, I cannot show my hair as it is a commandment in the Torah, so our daughter Leah has graciously accepted to be our model for today. And if you want to thank her for helping us today, please let her know in the comments below. She will be so happy to read your comments. My first step is to make a bun with Leah's hair and to fluff it up to maximize the volume. Then I use my second tip or tool, which is an extra large scrunchie. This one is in velvet and it will help carry the weight of the scarf so it will not slip off. A small scrunchie would just not do the same thing as it is not as big and the scarf would just fall off. This is one of my oldest and most used scrunchie as you can see, but it still does the job. I place the scrunchie around the bun, then I place the hair grip. I like placing the hair grip a bit over my ears to make the scarf hold on even longer. I could stop there and build my scarf on this base, but in my experience the scarf falls easily and this is when my tool or tip number three comes handy. I use a poof or some call it a volumizer. It is a bonnet with filling inside. It also has a velvet band, but this velvet is not as clingy as the hair grip band, but put together they form a mighty team. What I like about this poof is that it has a hole inside so I can modify the volume of the poof. I'm 5'9", thank God, and if I wear a small hair covering, it looks like I'm wearing a crepe on my head. And this is why I always buy extra filler to make my volumizer as big as I need. I can also change the filling size depending on what scarf I wear. To fill the poof, or bobo as they call it in Israel, it is very easy. I use the filler that I bought at Walmart for $2 and I add it until I get the size that I want. The poof can look big, but the scarf will come and push it down. As you can see, a bit of filler can make such a big difference. If you cannot find a poof, you can simply make it yourself using a loofah and a bonnet and I will leave the link to the tutorial I made in the comments below. If you have short hair, thin hair or very little hair, this is the perfect hack for you. You simply put the loofah in the bonnet and you have instant volume, no long hair needed. With certain scarves, I will need very little volume, so I will only use a headband, a scrunchie and a bonnet to have a smaller bun. Once I have my base on, I can start building my different head covering now that I am sure that the scarf I will style will stay in place. Because I work long hours and I cannot play with my scarf at work, to make it super immovable, I start by strengthening my base by adding a very thin scarf to hold the poof, the headband and the scrunchie together and to shape my bonnet. It is not at all necessary, but adding this extra layer will hold my scarf much longer in place even when I run in the hospital or do strenuous activities.
As you know, my go-to style is a turban wrap, so I will show you how I do it. An important point that I have learned over the years is that not all scarves are created equal and materials like silk will be much more difficult to use to cover the hair compared to this amazing scarf that is made of a light material that has larger weaving which makes it super easy to use and very grippy so it stays in place all day. My first step is that I will fold the edge of the scarf to make a nice seam. Then I will align the center of my very large rectangular scarf to the middle of my face, creating two equal tails. I will knot the tails in the back, making sure it is not too tight. Then I will take one tail, fold it onto itself, make it as straight as possible. Then I will pass it over my head. I will take the end of the tail, and I will tuck it in the fold I have just created. I would repeat the same process on the other side, but today I'm wearing my scarf with the tail down as it is a day off. Because I filmed in real time, this took me exactly 37 seconds to complete the look. And as you can see, using a scarf that has multiple horizontal line will create a lot of texture in the final headscarf and will look so much more regal. Another of my favorite hair covering style is to use a large square scarf. I use a silk scarf today to show you what I will do to keep it in place. The first step is that I will unfold the scarf completely in front of me, then I will turn it to get a diamond. I take the top corner and fold it slightly and not fully as it would make the scarf too small. I will place the scarf on my head and I will gather the two corners of the scarf that are on my right and on my left and I will leave the bottom corner alone. Once I have the corners in my hands, I will now knot them together in the back. I adjust the front of the scarf to place it where I want to be. And sometimes I will even place a straight pin on top through the scarf and the bonnet to make everything stay put. I gather the three tails and place them on the side. This is my favorite look to go out and about and still look put together with minimal effort. Because I'm near the closet, I will show you my frenemies, aka my wigs. Personally, I have mixed feelings about wearing a wig to fulfill the commandment of the Torah that married Jewish women should cover their hair. For me, I just feel it is contradictory to use human hair to cover my hair, but I completely understand why other women would do it, and at the end of the day, it is completely a personal choice. When I do wear a wig, which is almost never, I will use a fully synthetic wig, and I also cover it with a beret. In all honesty, I really feel uncomfortable wearing a wig. What do you think? Is the wig a yay or a nay? Let me know in the comments below. <laughs> the other head covering style I like to wear are different hats like these winter hats I wear on cold days. I particularly love this model because it has not only a fluffy pompon, but it is a removable pompon that makes it super easy to clean. With my winter hats, I only wear my velvet headband and my scrunchie to hold everything in place, no volumizer. I also like to wear these cotton berets in the summer as they are light and airy. They also have this lovely toggle to adjust the size and when I do wear them outside the house, I will embellish them and I will show you how I embellish my head covering a bit later in the video. Many of you asked me, do I have to wear certain colors for certain holidays? The general answer is no, but some customs or minag do exist. For example, on Yom Kippur, it is customary to see women all dressed in white, including their head covering. Usually when I wear white scarves, they are quite transparent and thin, so to make sure my hair is not seen through the scarf, I will use my tip number four. I use a thick velvet white bonnet or scarf to make my hair fully covered. It also helps my most slippery scarf to stay in place and it covers any color of poof I wear under the velvet bonnet as an added bonus. Because I see my head covering like a crown, I like to make it even more beautiful by embellishing it and I add on top my scarf some brooch, some headbands or some chain headbands. I find it makes the scarf so regal. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Finally, my favorite head covering style that I think I love the most to wear on Shabbat, on the holidays and on special occasions are my deluxe pre-tied sets. I have two styles. 
The first one is like a bonnet with a veil attached on top. I simply wear it on top of my volumizer, no underscarf for that one. It also has two tails that I will knot in the back to stay in place. It literally takes me 10 seconds to put it on and it looks so amazing in my opinion. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. The last headscarf model is my absolute favorite. Whenever I wear it, I feel so good. Do you also have a piece of clothing that when you wear it, it makes you feel so good? Let me know in the comments below. This is also a pre-tie in two pieces. The first piece is the sash that is bedazzled. I absolutely love it. The second part is the bonnet. It is super large to accommodate all size of poof alone or poof with a scarf on top for extra volume and stability. To put it on, I place it on my poof and then I adjust the front part to lay the bonnet where I want it. Then I knot the tails together, taking my time to make a beautiful bow. I also make sure to pull down any excess of fabric. And here is my fifth tip to make my scarf stay in place all day. I make sure I do not tie my knots too tight, otherwise not only will cause me a headache, but it will also pull on the fabric and make the scarf slip. Then I will put my sash. I love placing the centerpiece of my sash on the side of my scarf. Then I take the tails of the sash and I knot them together, making sure I do not tie them too tight. And finally, I make sure the surface of the scarf is nice and flat. This headscarf style is so easy to put on and so beautiful. And of course, I will leave all the links in the description box below for everything I have used in my video. After seeing all the hair covering, I would love to know which head covering style was your favorite. If you do have a favorite, please write it down in the comments below. Thank you for being here. It means the world to me. Know that in my book, you are simply amazing because you are always here, ready to learn new customs with an open mind and an open heart. If you're still with me until the end, please write in the comments. I love Jewish head covering, so I know I was not alone. And if nobody told you today, know that you are loved and you are enough just the way you are. Until next time, stay safe, stay blessed, and don't forget to from it up.